Good afternoon, families, family and friends. We're here because we love Doug and Terry. We want to support them. We've gathered in the sight of God to witness and to bless this marriage. This is a sacred moment where Doug and Terry bring the fullness of everything that is in their hearts as a treasure and gift from God to share with one another. They bring all their dreams, those dreams that they may have held on to, those they thought might never be fulfilled, and those they are in the process of walking out. And now they bind them together in an eternal commitment with one another. We celebrate with them in thankfulness to the Lord for this day. We recognize that this moment is not just about joining two hearts, but it's also about joining two families. It is a moment where the unity between Doug and Terry will connect many hearts in relationship. Doug and Terry recognize the value of the blessing from their families in this celebration. So Jen and Ross, as the firstborn of both families, do you give the blessing to Doug and Terry today as they join their hearts in marriage? If so, say, we do. We do. We do. One down, that's good. <laughs> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, God, for this amazing day in the sunshine. You are shining down on this wedding. Lord, I pray your blessing as we celebrate Doug and Terry. Lord, I thank you, God, that all of heaven celebrates them as well, that you have joined them together. And Lord God, I pray your blessing upon them. And Lord, I pray your blessing on all those who are here, that every heart be touched. In Jesus' name, amen. Doug and Terry, it's truly amazing you found each other. I personally have seen the journey and know this decision has had much thought and prayer. And together we bless this day. And as you enter into this moment in this sacred covenant of marriage, you keep the blessing of today flowing every day by loving one another as you love yourself, by treating each other with respect and by supporting each other. In this, you will create an environment of love, peace and joy in your home, in your new home together it is your gift to one another to find the greatest joy in each other every day. Doug, will you have Terry to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of hope, faith, and love according to the intention of God for your lives together? Will you listen to her inmost thoughts? Will you be considerate and tender in your care for her and stand by her faithfully in sickness and in health for better, for worse, richer or poorer, and preferring her above all others. Accept the full responsibility for her in every necessity for as long as you both shall live. If so, say, I do. I do. And Terry, will you have Doug to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of faith, hope, and love according to the intention of God for your lives together? Will you listen to his inmost thoughts, be considerate and tender in your care for him, and stand by him faithfully in sickness and in health, for better or for worse, richer or poorer, and preferring him above all others, accept full responsibility for him in every necessity for as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I do. I do. At this time, Doug and Terry have written vows for each other as an expression of their love for one another and they are going to share with each other and with you. Me first. Okay. I haven't really written them down. My vows are written in my heart. And first of all, I want to say to you, I love you with all my heart. And love I'm you. feeling very blessed that God has seen fit to put us together and I get to be the woman to enjoy this adventure of life with you. I promise to honor you and to be faithful and to respect you and to love you all the days of my life. I plan to be with you in the good times and the bad. Be your best friend ever. 
and just enjoy every day with you. One of my gifts to you, besides me, is an empty suitcase <laughs> that signifies I am not bringing any baggage. And we get to fill that and we get to travel on this adventure of life that God has intended for us. And I can't help but thinking of the scripture that says, this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Gary, on this day, I'll give you my heart. And I give you my promise that I will walk hand in hand with you wherever life's journey may be is. Living, learning, loving, together, forever. precious so nice to hear the love that you have for each other and you know the sincerity of heart where it brings you just to tears you know you know it's extra special this is an extra special moment first Corinthians 13 is called the love chapter I'm sure many of you have heard it before even at weddings often is read at weddings and it defines love as God is calling us to love today is Doug and Terry profess their love for one another why don't you take a moment to reflect on the love in your life, too? The Bible says, and I'm paraphrasing 1 Corinthians 13, love is patient and it's kind. Love isn't jealous. It doesn't brag. It's not arrogant. It does not act unbecomingly and does not seek its own. It is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffered, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices in truth. Love bears all things, love believes all things, love hopes all things, and love endures all things. Love never fails. Doug and Terry, from this day forward, you are going to experience many firsts. First kiss after the wedding. <laughs> first pronouncement as husband and wife, first dance. And then you have first birthdays together and celebrations you're going to share over the year. As you journey through your marriage, you'll become more familiar with each other. And there are not as many first experiences because you develop patterns and expressions that are unique to the two of you. You get to choose what the journey looks like. The only way you can continue to choose one another first is when God is first place in your life. God has shown us the greatest sacrificial love. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. God always loves first. He chose you first. His love was all about you. Every day, now, your love is a choice. We all know that there are adjustments. We don't always see things eye to eye in the same way we can hurt each other we can even disappoint each other at times even when it's not our intent the question is will you love first when god when you put god in first place you're anchored in christ you're anchored in a love that never fails that means you can access love that goes way beyond what you can give in a moment into a love that is eternal and never ending. Today, Doug and Terry, you've chosen to love one another. We pray that in every opportunity you have to grow in love for one another, and there will be opportunities to grow in love, <laughs> you will choose to love first by embracing the author of love, God himself, then turning to embrace one another. May I have the rings, please? When we look at the rings, we see it as a circle. The circle represents an unending love. God is love and the love he gives is everlasting. It's a love that never ends. As you allow God's love to fill your heart first, the love you share will build a marriage that lasts forever. You know, as I was thinking about the ring, I also felt that it represents the covenant of today. You know, when you see a ring on someone's finger, you go, they're taken. <laughs> or you say, he's mine, she's mine. Those are the thoughts that go through our mind when we see the ring. 
It's not about ownership of one another, but a statement to the world of your covenant with each other. Let's pray. God, as Doug and Terry give these rings, I pray that the rings will remind them of the covenant of love they have entered into with you first and then with one another. Today we bless their love for one another. Doug, I'm going to ask you to put the ring on Terry's left hand and repeat after me. I, Doug, take you, Terry, to be my wife. I, Doug, take you, Terry, to be my wife. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. To love and to cherish you in sickness, in health. To love and to cherish you in sickness and in health. In poverty and wealth. Poverty and wealth. For as long as we both live. For as long as we both live. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Terry. <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Terry, will you place the ring on Doug's left hand and repeat after me? It'll be his right hand. Right hand. <laughs> his hand. His other left hand. <laughs> I, Terry, take you, Doug, to be my husband. I, Terry, take you, Doug, to be my husband. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. To love and to cherish you. To love and to cherish you. In sickness and health, in poverty and wealth. In sickness and health, in poverty and wealth. For as long as we both live. For as long as we both live. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. With this ring I be wed.
We pray a blessing in their choices that they make together, in the ministries that they involve themselves in, and in all that they do. Use them as an example to show the way to Jesus as they stand as a testimony of the world to the world of your faithfulness. In Jesus' name, amen. And now I have the pleasure and honor of presenting for the first time Doug and Terry Caldwell. family when I say how happy we truly are that he's found someone like you, Terry, to share his life. And I say welcome to the family on this very special day. 